Flashing Aid, Glazes with Black Ink. Ok, so now, let's do the same thing that we did here with the airbrush, but now here without airbrush. So that you can compare two ways of executing this part. One quick important thing. Here you can see. Notice that this brush here is already opened. It has already gone through its life. However, this one here is completely straight. With this one, we're not gonna be able to do straight lines, but with this one, it's still able to do straight lines and to have accuracy. Here, we're going to do the next thing. Pretty much the same. Instead of adding the ink to the airbrush, we put it in a plate. Like this, you can see. I mix it a bit with water. I see that it's very dense. Because I don't see a glaze yet. Well, here... Now we can see a glaze here. And we add a little bit of medium gel, gel acrylic. Always mate, remember. To mix it. Well, if I see it a little bit dense, then we add some more gel. If it's not liquidish yet, we add some water for it to flute. Let's put the picture here. Let's do a trial. Here we see. Okay. Here we have to work quickly. Okay. I have it. Cool. I add another glaze here. I extend it. Medium. A little bit of water. Ink. Okay. Medium, a little bit of water. Look that this is translucent. It's respecting the part that I already built before. You can see here. Okay, I start covering up until here. This is the job that the airbrush would do. And you can do it this way. And it would look as good. But it will take some more time. You need to be careful. Okay. Now we do have a raking perspective here. You can see with an intensity, a tone intensity, more dark, darker here and more clear here. I'm seeing this is darker. I see you can see. So I add some more here. Don't be afraid. It's better to paint bad than to paint with a freight. Here we start getting uh, this perspective, this darker perspective here. We wait for it to dry out. If I keep working, what I already have will fall down. Remember, let it dry out. It's only two minutes. While that, I can start explaining a little bit what's going to happen here. Here, what I want is a, a, bit to, a bit to be darker. So that's why I get my Chinese ink. I hit a little bit more medium. So that the dark ink has more a starring position in the mix. For it to be more transparent. And I hit it this way. Remember, use all all of the windows look with a square brush always the axis we respect the edges remember i don't want to for you to do this without having the line control with the plain brush i need you to get a drawing get a white paper 
and do this for a practice remember you need to control this process if you don't dominate it do this exercise and once you're done then go to your drawing so I go here straight line remember with a paint I go here there you see how the edges are way more defined way more settled you can do this with airbrush or with brush remember okay we have everything here you see let's define okay okay uh, watch out here and we take it out look like that but there I went out a bit but it doesn't matter we always have a solution What's the solution? Go back with our gesso and I clean the mess that I just made. Okay? I get back what I the mistake that I made. I correct it. Sometimes it's hard to talk and paint at the same time okay we have it here correct you see it goes back to the way it was okay what am I doing now well cl cleaning some spots here we have an edge that is a little bit wider then I get it back this way Look how easy it is, right? How easy it is to paint. What do we have over here? Okay. Here, we have a little bit of a part that we have to recover. Here, we have some clarity in this part. when you have a straight line when you do a straight line with a brush it's not the same to do it in a continued way than to do it like this if I do it this way I am painting if I do it like this I am drawing when you paint you can't think that the brush is like a pen with a pencil you would do just a straight line like that but with paint we're gonna have to slowly fill zones that's why painting when I paint a line or a perspective of that of this way I move the brush like this you see I move it like this it's not totally perfect but it doesn't matter why? Because these small little things that go out here, these imperfections that go out here, give paint a bi an added vibration. And that is wonderful within their realism because the paint will never stick. So instead of doing it straight, remember to do it in small traces. That's painting and that's drawing. Okay? I do the same here. 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 I stain a bit. To finish this part of the glaze, we're gonna go to this part here. This zone here that I have drawn. I'll go back to medium, some water. I create like that glaze with Chinese ink. We substitute the airbrush and we go over this part that is dark but it probably is the darkest part of the entire drawing maybe I went I put some more ink than I needed so I add some paper and now it's totally wonderful you see here that I do it like if I were using airbrush okay also here okay let's go down I'm going a little bit quickly because I'm running out of natural light 
obviously as I don't have an airbrush and I'm doing it with a brush the edges are harder with the airbrush all of the edges are much more diluted within the drawing not so concrete here I can add some more of it in this edge over here it doesn't really matter right now but well I do it for you to see it